Because one trivia round was enough, we're back for round two. Bryant is here from Coaster365 to see who knows more about theme park and roller coaster trivia from places all around the world. Bryant, how you doing? I'm doing great. Wait, well, wait, 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 wait. You just wanted a round two because I won in round one. Don't lie. Uh, I <laughs> conveniently that. forgot that you beat me. Wasn't it by only one point? So like, it was basically a point. A point's a point. It was a tie. Credit. Close mm -hmm. enough. A win's a win. I almost won. A win's a win. I a almost won. <laughs> Whatever. So, Brian, how many rounds we got, and then what are our categories? Yes, yeah, so we actually got six rounds this time. Okay. Um, we're going to start with your favorite category, history. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> Can't right. wait to get more dates wrong again. Bring back the picture round. Oh, that was good. Um, I liked that one. A new round called Common Bonds, which I will explain when we get there. And we're doing a one list, another mystery round, which I will reveal when that comes up. Uh, and then we're going to finish off with a little bit of a coasting through Europe. Mm, AKA, okay. Sarah, try to remember everything you did in the last year. Right. <laughs> Fail! <laughs> <laughs> and we will finish with one final question like last time. Except last time it was a set point value. This time we're going to go a little Final Jeopardy rules. And you can mm. wager mm. as many right, so points as you have earned. See who's ballsy far. enough. <laughs> exactly. Okay, exactly. I like it. So, do you want to get started? With Let's do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Number one for history. We're going to start with multiple choice. No, oh, bless. Ease into it a little bit. And it's about Disney. Of these classic Disney attractions, which is the only one that opened at Disney World before Disneyland? Is it A, Big Thunder Mountain, B, Space Mountain, C, The Haunted Mansion, or D, Pirates of the Caribbean? Well, I'll go first. Uh, I said Space Mountain. I also said Space Mountain. So Magic Kingdom is home to the original Space Mountain. Oh! Woo! I totally just guessed. You guessed! I knew that one! <laughs> Space Mountain opened in 1975. The Disneyland version didn't open until 1977. There are currently 46 rides designated as Ace Roller Coaster Landmarks. Name just one of the three that are no longer operating. This does not include Montezuma's Revenge because it is coming back. That are no longer. Wait, if it's a landmark, shouldn't it still be there? You would yeah, think. You know, <laughs> things happen. Okay, I made a guess. What was yours? I I just made a guess. Is it the original Zambezi Zinger? Okay, what was your guess? I said Blue Streak at Kanye Lake. So the three are. I'm going to do these alphabetically. Big Dipper at Geauga Lake. Hmm. Blue Streak at oh. Kanye Lake. And the last one's actually uh, a ride you did a video on. Montagna Russa at La Feria de Really? Chipotle. Okay, so oh. my guess was not right. My guess right. is unfortunately not right. Mm. I'm like shortstop. It's probably something <laughs> shortstop. <laughs> okay, so number three. What two iconic roller coasters from the same country, one at a height of 42.6 feet, the other at a height of 213 feet, Opened just 71 days apart in 1994. Can we get a hint? Because it seems Hold like on. we're both stumped. <laughs> Hold on, what? I have no idea. You might have stumped us. Like, actually, you might have stumped us. I don't know if us. I can name a ride of either height that opened in 1994. Okay. I genuinely don't. I don't know anything that opened in 1994. You I want, have no idea. You guys just want to say... I, I a joint pass. I can see. I have no. I have nothing. Okay. I don't have either. Uh, if I said the country was the UK, would that help? That would help with one of them. Okay. Because there's really only one option. What's that? Big one. Yeah. So big one is big one, and I mean thirteen. The forty-two point six feet is kind of a trick, because they have to basically dig a giant hole for. Is it Nemesis? Nemesis. Okay. Both opened no, in 94. I had no oh. idea that both of those opened in 1994. You really don't know either, I, so. <laughs> I had no idea that they uh, opened in 1994. Years are hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like... That's a good question. That's a good question. That was a hard yeah. one, though. Yep. What is currently the oldest operating roller coaster in the U.S., west of the Mississippi? Ha! I'm like, I know this! Th this ain't a kid's <laughs> version. Come on. I have my guess. I... Maybe, it's, okay, I'll take a guess. It's okay to take a guess every now and then. No, I don't want to guess. That's just me. Take a guess. I don't know. So you're just going to concede? 
For this one, I, I don't know. I know I know the oldest operating is Leap the Diffs, but west of the Mississippi. I think, yeah, like, Pennsylvania is like, last time I checked was east of Mississippi. I put roller coaster at Lagoon. Nineteen twenty one. Roller coaster at Lagoon. Oh, really? Well done. It's the sixth. I was thinking somewhere in California, and I was like, I don't think that's so. So, right. I mean, honestly, I thought you might have said Giant Dipper at both Belmont that, and. That occurred to me. That well, occurred that's what to me. I was thinking. Santa Cruz? Was, yeah. I was thinking the boardwalk parks, mm -hmm. but I'm like, that's there's no way that's that was, right. Those were 1924, 1925, respectively. Mm, okay. okay. So, I wouldn't have been that far off if I had actually Lagoon said that. Lagoon is the sixth oldest in the world, I believe. We're gonna go with the picture round now. Yay! Um, so last time these pictures represented an amusement park name. This time they're gonna represent a roller coaster name. Uh, this first one I'm actually looking for two, and you uh, do need you both to get the full point. However, I will give you a hint: they're both from the same park chain. Picture number one. Oh, I got it. I think. Okay. Okay, I put lightning rod and time traveler. Taylor. I said lightning run in Time Traveler. So I have my card here. I have Time Traveler and Lightning Rod. Acceptable Lightning Rod. No! Wow. Oh, come on. Because technically it is a Lightning Rod, but you're wow. also. It's running into the lightning. Son of a. It, you did have the main answer. Bay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, picture number two. <laughs> okay. Where did you find this? Yeah, where did you find that? Did you make that? I did not make that. Are you sure? Trust me, I, I'm i very good at Google searching. Okay, I'm just gonna write down where is it. Okay. So I said monster at Walligator in France because he's French and okay. he's Cookie Monster. Okay, I think that mine should be probably accessible. I said monster at La Ronde. You guys are crazy. I said La Monster, acceptable. Monster Walter. What? <laughs> what? How did wow. you get both except for those two? Oh my what? god. That's so weird. Oh, what? That is crazy. Wow. But yes, I mean, they're both French monsters. Question number three. Hmm. My, my initial thought was New Texas Giant. Okay. Because I was like... Dallas, that's Texas, giant, okay. but then the eagle would not make any sense. I don't think mine's right, but I don't have anything better. So is there a roller coaster called Giant Star Eagle? <laughs> <laughs> I'll say my guess first. Okay. Um, I said Wild Eagle because the Cowboys and the Giants are both wild card slot teams, and it's an eagle. I said it wasn't, had nothing to do with it. Oh no, damn! <laughs> Okay, but if it did, that would be a damn good answer. It would be a very good answer. All right, fine. I said American Eagle. Okay. So, I know it has nothing to do with, like, I don't know. I couldn't you're, think of anything. You're going to enjoy, you're both going to enjoy this one, I think. So that was the NFC East. Yes. Except for Washington. Yeah. They're all DC rivals. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh my gosh. That's very, very Thank clever. You. Wow. Yeah. Comment below if you got that There's right. There's no like, way. Like, genuinely, like, you actually got it right. I Like, that is so crazy. And don't lie. <laughs> don't lie. All right, last picture in this round, number four. It is one specific roller coaster for train. Why do I feel like it's not Defiance? Yeah, there's no way it's actually anything at Glenwood Caverns. Yeah, like that, that's, <laughs> that's what... too easy. I got it. I know what it is. What? I know what it is. That's a really good one. That's, that's really good. I like it. Am I stupid? I have no idea. Colorado Adventure. Some would say when you go to Glenwood, it is a Colorado Adventure. Uh... Yes. <laughs> that was kind of a hard question. But you know what is it? Deciding what to have for breakfast in the morning. Never mind! Magic Spoon reinvents your childhood favorites with that same great taste you love, but with more protein and less sugar. And it comes in some awesome flavors like blueberry muffin, cinnamon roll, cookies and cream, and maple waffle. Okay, I think I decided which one I'm gonna have. They also have breakfast bars. Crap! Every year for their birthday, Magic Spoon releases their coveted birthday cake flavor, which has quickly become a fan favorite. But Magic Spoon has heard your feedback and now it's available to get all year long. 
But no matter which flavor you pick, each serving has 13 to 14 grams of protein, four to five net grams of carbs, and zero grams of sugar. Except for Honey Nut, which has one gram of sugar. Can you like, stop? But no matter which flavor you pick, that's only 140 calories per serving. Magic Spoon cereal bars also have one gram of sugar, and four net carbs, and only 130 calories. Plus, all of it is keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, and soy-free. It's crazy, because it doesn't taste like something that'd be diet-friendly. Well, it is. It's wild. Click the link below to get Magic Spoon cereal today. You can build your own variety box using the promo code COASTER to get $5 off. And for all of our British and Canadian friends, don't feel left out. Magic Spoon also ships to Canada and the UK. Go to magicspoon.com slash coaster or scan the QR code seen on your screen. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product that it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So for whatever reason, you don't like it, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. So this next round, it's a new round called Common Bonds. So I'm going to read you sets of four roller coasters. Each set is gonna have some similarity. Definitely think outside the box. I'm looking for more than just, oh, they're all American. I need a coffee after They're this. all wood and they're all steel. <laughs> we have Cannibal, Winges, Lost Coaster of Superstition Mountain, and Cobra's Curse. I know what it is. Man, I'm getting wrecked in this round. Or this game. Still early. Still early. Oh, is it, um, they all have like the weird lift system? Elevator lift. Elevator okay, lift. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm giving it that. Yeah, I mean, come on. Yeah. Okay. They, yeah, are like, they, they are weird. They are weird. They are very weird. They all have... <laughs> yeah, like an elevator yeah, lift. Yeah, elevator yeah. lifts. That was what I was looking for. Ooh, okay, good. Number two. X2. Wants N to kill you. <laughs> that's the you. common bond. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're going to say next, but that's the answer. Mean Streak. Yep. <laughs> that's yeah. Mine, yeah. <laughs> New Mexico Rattler. And maybe my favorite roller coaster to say. Superman El Ultimo Escape. I think I might know. Mmm, I got it. What do you, I already wrote it, so do you okay. want to say it? Each of these were the last roller coaster by their specific manufacturer. That's what I wrote. Last coaster by manufacturer. X2, the last arrow. Mean Streak was the last din. Superman, the last Morgan. New Mexico Rattler, last CCI. Woo! Uh, and yes, I know they technically went defunct halfway through New Mexico it Rattler. Still it still counts. It still counts. Still counts. Yeah. Still counts. Yes. All right, number three, we have DC Rivals. I hate that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Canyon Blaster, this is the one at the Adventure Dome. Adrenaline Peak, and Brava at the Mass Museum of Contemporary Art. Oh, I know this one. <clears throat> They're big, scary, and I pink! Think. Is that a reference that I don't know? Spongebob. Damn. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> they are all pink, of course. <laughs> Alright, the last common bonds we have El Toro. Gemini, Airy Force One, and Scorpion. None of these have anything in common. Oh, I know. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Oh, screw you. Oh, wait a minute. It's probably not right, but it's something I made up. Go for it. That they're all like astrological signs? That's what I had. Yeah. Really? <laughs> they're all signs of the zodiac. I mean,. <laughs> Airy Force One's a little bit of a stretch. No, it's Aries. Aries. Yeah. And then, yeah, El Toro, Taurus, mm -hmm. yeah. Gemini, Gemini, Scorpio. Scorpio. Yeah. That's it, yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought that I was just being funny. <laughs> oh, I didn't no, think I mean, that was a thing. Yay, okay. You guys went a perfect four for four in that round. Good hey, job. Wendy! You guys are really good at those. <laughs> really, Wendy's. He said four for four. What do you oh, want actually, me to say? I'm pretty sure it's four for five now. Didn't they up the price? It's four for four forty four, and that's not with the junior bacon cheeseburger. Yeah, the junior bacon cheeseburger is now the five dollar. Why five do you know so The well? five dollar biggie bag. Listen, I love Wendy's. You're the only one that doesn't like Wendy's. All right, so for the list round, you are going to name all the currently operating roller coasters in the U.S. Well, that's easy. That begin. <laughs> yeah. I can do that. That begin with the letter V. If there happens to be more than one ride with the same name, each individual ride will be their own answer. Okay. All right, gonna go with the very obvious choice, Voyage. Yes. No, okay, I'll do the next obvious one, Velocicoaster. Yes. Okay. And yes, I know it's simply Jurassic World Velocicoaster. I'm accepting Velocicoaster. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't write Velocicoaster because I thought it was Jurassic World Velocicoaster. I wrote it down. But it's okay, because so. it's fine. Everyone yeah. calls it Velocicoaster. I, I feel know. like that's acceptable. Um, V2. Technically, it's 
flash vertical velocity. But everyone calls it V2. So, the one at Six Flags Great America... They're both called flash vertical velocity at Discovery Kingdom and Great America. What? I thought they both were V2 vertical velocity. That might have been a previous name. I didn't know they were uh, I didn't know I that just they thought they did that. Yeah, vertical velocity uh, until 2021. Really? Yeah. Okay. okay, so those don't count? I'm not going to include those, no. Okay, that's fine. Really? Okay, <laughs> well, crap, because uh, those were two that I put down. Yeah. Jeez. Um, Viper, Great America. Okay. Viper at Darien Lake. Valare. That's a model. I know, there's got to be one out there called Valare somewhere. Not in the US. Not Valaris. in the, not in the not US. US. Damn, then I'm out. There's only two in the US, and they're both like... Because my other ones were the, the, the two V2s. <laughs> okay. Which is flash vertical yeah. velocity, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, Viper at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Okay. And Verbolton at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. Oh, how did I forget Verbolton? Yes. That was the first one I thought of. Really? Yeah. So ones you miss. Uh, you did get the three Vipers. We have a Vortex at Carowinds. Oh, oh, that's right. We have a kitty ride. This is probably the hardest one. A kitty ride at Sesame Place called that's Vapor the one. Trail. That's Vapor the one Trail! Yes. I spent so long trying to remember the one at Sesame Place. It was Vapor Trail. The one that everyone has to ride. Oh my Oscars gosh. It was oh. Vapor Trail. I was like literally sitting there for like probably <laughs> three minutes. Like, what is it called? Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Vapor Trail. And uh, Cedar Point fanboys and girls, go at them. Foul Raven. <laughs> forgettable Come ride, forgettable. <laughs> Even if you forgot that existed. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. So after kind of like a half time through four rounds, we have Taylor with 14 points. Sarah has nine points. Mm. It is still anybody's game. Oh, yeah. okay. So this next one is the mystery round, which is more just, I didn't know how to name this round. So <laughs> assorted <laughs> questions that have no connection. I mean, it, it, no, it does have a connection. What is the it common is... bond okay. between yeah. these yeah. questions? Again, yeah, right? So I'm going to give you guys two options with some statistical information. No, All you have to do is name the higher number of the two based on the stat that I give you. Number of inversions on the Smiler. Or number of inversions at a Bush Gardens Williamsburg as a whole. Are <laughs> <laughs> you ready to write down the smiler regardless? <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh. Wait a minute. All right. <laughs> okay, I think I I think I know. Smiler has more, right? Smiler. Smiler has fourteen, most on any roller coaster. Bush Gardens Williamsburg has thirteen. That is hilarious. One wow. short, yes. One ride. <laughs> More inversions than all of Bush Gardens Williams. That's hilarious. <laughs> and actually tied with King's Island, which is really nuts. the only three roller coasters have inversions at King's Island. In Vertigo, really? Flight of Fear, and Banshee. That's it. What? Yeah. Wow, they need another coaster with inversions. A lot of wood. That's so weird. Question number two: Number of roller coasters at Six Flags Magic Mountain, or number of Vacoma boomerangs in the U.S. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Operating. <laughs> These are great. <laughs> but I think Magic Mountain. I'm going to say Magic Mountain. This one actually surprised me. There's only 15 Vacoma Boomerangs in the U.S. Yeah. I thought there would be more. I think the There's reason, not a lot in the West. Yeah, I think the reason is be, like that I, part of me wanted to say Boomerang at first was because I always rope in Vacoma Boomerangs and SLCs when I talk about them. Oh, uh, that's fair. So yeah, that's, that's like fair. a huge number. But yeah. yeah, Boomerangs are less. I've actually looked that up before. Yeah, and mm. like, I think like half of them are in the Northeast somehow. Okay, number three. Number of currently operating RMCs in the world, or number of currently operating GCIs in the world? Ooh. Hmm. And this is coasters, not credits. And currently operating, aka no under construction. Under construction does not count into this. Okay. You say first. I'm gonna pretty confidently say GCIs. I also wrote GCI. There are 23 currently operating RMCs in the world, 26. GCIs. Yes. <laughs> Most I thought it was more. All right, and the final question in this mystery round. We have feet of track on Storm Chaser <laughs> or number of videos on Coaster Studios. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Well, I feel like videos god. on Coaster Studios. Some videos on Coaster Studios. Yeah. You knew I'd make you look good. That is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> 
2,744 feet of track on Storm Chaser, and we are at over 2,900 videos. Hey. Wow. All right, all right. By the way, oh I did the math. Gosh. If you want to pass Steel Dragon one day, you need to put out a video every single day until the year 2037. That's a great... <laughs> I love you for that. Yeah. <laughs> so, we have a now final special coasting through Europe round. These are all just involving the parks that you visited, both parks one and two. Okay. Um, I think it goes without being said, don't include your trip to Spain mm -hmm. last year. Okay. Yeah. Um, and don't include La Ronde in any of these. Okay. No. Wait, are you telling me Canada's not in Europe? I know it's Europe. What? Far, La Ronde but... is not in Europe? <gasps> I wish I knew that when we... <laughs> hey, Montreal. Go, go Bruins. All right, number one. How many roller coasters over 200 feet did you ride? Okay, you go first. Three. Four. I have Zadra. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I have Hyperion. Yep. Mm -hmm. I got Silverstar. Yep. Mm -hmm. And that's it. That's it. Yeah, Conda. Conda's not 200 oh, feet. Oh, crap. Uh, that's a mega coaster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Oh, that was close. Of all the parks you visited, what park was first alphabetically, and what was last? <laughs> you have to get both, oh, I know. both for the point. Okay, well I know the last <laughs> Alright, I'll go first. Um, first alphabetically would be Baba Young Land, okay. and Zaderland was last. First alphabetically, Bakken. Crap! We and did go to Bakken! Didn't okay. I say that Bakken was kind of forgettable? <laughs> you did! You that's really hilarious! Did that. <laughs> <laughs> Name the six roller coasters that are featured in the title montage of every Coast in 3 Europe. Oh, oh crap, you did that! I did do that. But you've seen all... You've I always watched... skip it! <laughs> oh. You do get a point for each. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, Formula was one of them. Yep, Formula is one Fury. of them. Fury. Yep, yep. Conda? No. no. Did I just get Conda wrong twice? You just did, yes. <laughs> you did just the, kick. This isn't the list one, so it's not like you're eliminated if you have other ones. Was Abyss this one of them? No. Crap, then I... Do we get two? I guess. <laughs> and, um, the six are... Oh, should I flex and try and do them in order? Zadra? Hmm. It's either Phonix or Baron first, after that. Um... Ooh, I think Phonix and then Baron. Phonix and then Baron. And then... Blue Fire, Fury, and then Formula? I think that's the order. He has an unfair advantage! <laughs> in order. I, I just <laughs> I just pick it up and drop it in. I never watch it. The final question in Coasting Through Europe. If you remember last game, I asked you to name the most northern, western, southern, and eastern RMC. Mm -hmm. You're going to do the same, but for parks that you visited. Mm. I will say, not as easy as the RMCs. Right. No. no. At all. Is... Alright, go north. All right, uh, I'm gonna say Gronoland. I might be a bit far off then. I said two and three. You guys are actually both wrong. Really? No! It's Lennon Maki. Uh, no, that's what I had. Wait, I changed what? my answer. I changed my answer. <laughs> I had it as Lennon Maki. Look at this. I had it as Lennon Maki and then I scratched out. Well, that's not what you said, so you don't get it. <laughs> oh, no. All right, all right. South, is it Wiener Prater? I also had Wiener Prater. Very good. Wow. Yeah, Vienna. I was like, that's the first yeah. time. You would not believe how close Europa Park really, and really? are. Really? They're like I think they're like 500 miles apart east west. Yeah. They're closer than Disney and Universal. They're really in five, terms of latitude. In terms of latitude, 0. 0.05 degrees difference. Whoa. Yes. Europa is like very south of Germany, right? Yeah. 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 Wow. Weird. Yeah. Okay. East. Lindemaki. Energylandia. Mm. Really? By a lot. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I knew it was Linamaki. I so the reason I was not sure about that one. The reason why I scratched out Linamaki for North and put Groenland is because I thought that it would have be been four different answers. Four different no. parks. Yeah. I was a little, I, I'm a little fuzzy when it gets that far east, and I'm mm -hmm. like, no, I, I knew think Poland I, is a little further east. Now. I knew mm -hmm. for a fact Linamaki was most east, but I wasn't 100 percent sure it was most north. All right, west. Park Asterix. I read Park Asterix as well. Yeah, I love it over Disneyland Paris. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay, so. Going into the final round, we have Taylor with 29 points, Sarah with 17 points. Mm. However, it is still anyone's game because we're going Final Jeopardy style and you can wager as many points as you have earned thus far. If you get it wrong, you lose those points. If you get it right, you gain those points. 
The category is RMC. Okay. So for this question, I am going to give you three clues about an RMC. You just simply have to name the RMC. This RMC opened the same year as the What Color Is This Dress Internet Debate Phenomenon. Oh my gosh. Clue number two. It has nearly the exact same height and speed as another RMC in a different continent than itself. Clue number three. The wooden roller coaster it was converted from was the oldest of all the wooden roller coasters that were RMC. So did you see blue and gold or white and... No. Is that really I, important well, right now? <laughs> I know the dress is actually blue and black. Blue and blue and black. black. It's blue and black it did not and white. Look, it looked white and gold. Yes, what? White and gold. My eyes no. saw white and gold. My eyes what? saw white and gold. I don't know what? how you see blue and black. It was there. so obviously blue and black. No. It's no. white and gold. No, it was not. Okay. Um, I'm going to say Twisted Colossus. That's what I wrote. There was really only two possible answers for all three clues. I think it was so, the last clue that made then me What think. Color Is This Dress did happen in 2015. Ooh. Which means the only two answers are Twisted Colossus and Wicked Cyclone. Both kind of have similar heights and speeds to Untamed. That's the yeah, one. That's yeah, that's the one I was thinking of. That's the of. one I referenced yep. in number two. And ironically, they're also the original uh, Riverside Cyclone and the original Colossus mm -hmm. are the two oldest yeah. wooden roller coasters that were armed. One happened in 1983. The other happened in 1978. The one that opened in 1978 was Colossus. Really? So Mr. Colossus was the answer. Wow. So now we need, what did you wager? Six points. Thirteen. So, Sarah finishes with 30 points, but this time Taylor has 35 points. Ooh. That was Gets so close, though. Redemption. It's one to one. Mmm. Are you suggesting like, a round three? I think we maybe rounds? need to have a rubber match at some point for all the marbles. <laughs> Man, I'm much more yeah. civil than you. I went for a handshake. She went to. This is the difference between us two. Just letting you guys. Oh, just shake my hand. Bryant, it's been an honor. Thank of you course. for putting all the time and effort. Oh into yeah, these I, I enjoy this so much. Your so. questions are excellent. I will never forget the DC Rivals thing. That one was <laughs> ever Love incredible. It. Love it, uh, guys. You can follow along with his journeys on the Coaster Three Six Five YouTube channel. Oh, uh, started on January first. He's got a new roller coaster every single day for a whole year. Yeah, we're gonna try. It's pretty <laughs> impressive. So yeah, go ahead and follow along on his adventures. Thank Link you, is in you. the description to his channel. And you might see us appear in a a couple here and there, you know? More than a couple at this point, but, you know, <laughs> that's because I love you guys just that yeah, much. So we just follow you around, that's why. <laughs> that's it, that's it. All right. Guys, Thank you guys. hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios, and we'll see you next time. Bye!